Here we go and welcome to another crowdfunding Thursday. My name is Michael and today we're just taking a closer look at the Artiphone Orba. Um, if you probably already know Artiphone, um, their instrument one is just one of the most popular crowdfunded instruments ever on, on Kickstarter, I think so. So this was just a crossover between I think a guitar and a synthesizer, so this is just pretty awesome. I also took a look at it, so um, if you're really into something like this, it's just pretty cool to do some experimental stuff uh, with this instrument one. But now Artiphone just released a new generation of instruments, something really special and I was just super hyped when I saw this the first time because I'm just a guy always just fiddling around, needs something in my hands and likes to play music on the go, so this is just way cooler than just taking all your instruments with you when you're just traveling. Um, now it's just the Arbor and today we're just taking a closer look what's inside this box and what you really can do with this interesting instrument. So let's get started right after the intro. Okay, so let's just get right to the box and what you can see and what's inside. So as you can see here, um, it's somehow like a little ball um, with a flat side here that you can just hold in your hand and just um, use it in a lot of different modes. So this is just pretty cool. If you look at up here, you can just tap the different um, zones on this. Um, or by here, you can press it, you can just do vibrato if you want to, or radiate and just mix and just just manipulate the different sounds and the different instruments. So in my opinion, pretty cool idea. You can slide it, bump it um, against your hand or just other surfaces or just move it around, shake it and tilt it. So in my opinion, pretty cool idea. So that's a gyroscope in there and you accelerate it, so you just can really utilize all these different sensors and the touch surface on top, um, pretty cool. So um, it also just has built-in speaker and synth, that means um, this guy here just can be used standalone. You just don't need a computer or your smartphone, you just really can use this um, in your hands, so you have just a speaker inside and just listen to everything. And also I think um, a vibrant motor, so you just also get some uh, um, mechanical feedback, you can say, so or haptic feedback. This is pretty awesome, but you also get a headphone jack, so you can just put in your headphones and do not disturb any others uh, out there in the subway or something like this. And you also get USB Type-C port for charging and also connecting it to your DAW um, and Ableton or uh, FL Studio, something like this, and you just can use it as a MIDI controller, which is just super amazing. So all these different things putting together in this little device, I'm pretty hyped. Means touch sensitive pads um, on top, headphone out, as I already mentioned, multicolor LEDs all around the surface here on top, so you just know the controls, so it can be a little bit tricky in the beginning haptic feedback with a vibration as well as USB and also Bluetooth connectivity so you can just pair it up with your smartphone and control it by your smartphone or just even record it and accelerator and gyroscope as I already mentioned so a lot of different sensor controls what it does not have which I would also like would be something like squeezing sensor so I probably there was just a time where you had a smartphone where you can just squeeze it and have some controls with it this is not implemented into the Aura. It would be cool in the next iteration that you can just squeeze it and have some controls over it. But overall, it's a synth, it's a looper, so you can just make your own custom loops and even a MIDI controller if you want to, um, a controller you probably never had in this way. So that's everything here, but I already unboxed it, so this is just an empty box and we now just coming to this really funny Pokeball I have here in my hands with this super long leash. Um, this is just for on the go and inside it's obviously not a pokeball at all. It's just the oops upside down um, It's just the Arbor. So now we have here um, from Kickstarter I think it was another perk and um, for achieving this much money You get just get this travel back here, which is just pretty cool But now we're coming to you the really interesting part the R by itself and what can it do and what can it do? But um, Let's just get right into it Okay, so what do we got here? Um, first of all, I have pretty tiny hands, but the, the instrument is just fitting pretty well. On top, the, the uh, touch-sensitive surface, headphone jack, USB Type-C, 
on, off switch and Bluetooth connectivity um, and volume up, volume down. I don't like the blue, I must be honest, and also this rubber surface here, so this could be just a little bit better. Um, on the bottom we got a pretty big uh, speaker as well, these uh, rubber feet, so it's not moving this much on the surface, but overall it's just the speaker here, and that's just probably it, so it's just pretty tiny, and I like the approach and what you can do with it. So we now just switch it on, and I will try to do the first sounds. I also need to mention I've already turned it on and also just connected it with the, my smartphone and with the Arba app, and I must be honest, I was a little bit disappointed because it just told me that I need to do a software update, but uh, I cannot do this via the smartphone app. I need to connect it with, with the USB Type-C to my computer, which is a bummer because I think some people out there just don't always just use their smartphone and tablet and don't really utilize the computer anymore. So um, it would be cool if they just implement something like smartphone app controlled updates. So this would be just way better. But overall, it's now on the, uh, the latest firmware and updates. So it's just now working pretty fine. When you turn it on, the first thing that's always just on are the drums. That means these are not the drums. I can now turn the volume up. So this is now maxed out. Pretty cool, so now the basic drum set, uh, a volume down a little bit, so you probably will hear this here. Furthermore, if you listen to it, I will just do it a little bit quieter, you will also listen to the, the vibration motor. You, you hear it? In your hands it's just perfectly okay, but when it's just too silent, um, it gets a little bit distracting because the motors inside are really loud and they just more feel like a smartphone from four or five years ago. So a really cheap smartphone motor inside here. It's strong enough, so you just just feel it, but I would just go for something s more silent and just more, I don't know how to, to put it. It's just more snappy and more natural. Okay, the iPhones do it just on a completely other ne level, but a really good Android smartphone just has way better vibration motors, but so Audiphone is probably not the company for the best um, smartphones out there, so that's totally fine. But at the end, you get just the septic feedback. I don't know if I can turn it on or off, but it's just pretty cool, especially when you play the drums, that you get some feedback. It's just so cool. So the controls are just pretty, they're working just pretty good. So you adjust the surfaces here between and you can always just see that we're in the drums. If I press the audiophone button once, I now switch to the bass and you also just can hold the audiophone button and just press some of the other things. I haven't tried this out yet. So you can also just record and just pause play. So you can just make your own loops inside of the audiophone as well as connecting it to your smartphone or to your PC. So now we are here on the bass. And you can just use the gyroscope. It's just super cool. And the sound quality is really good. So uh, Artiphone just also just made their re really own synth and bass and drums. So the sounds are re really unique. And you just also can... I think the, the speaker is just really powerful and just really cool. So I like um, that it's just so bassy and so loud. You can just really hear it if you want to just put it, crank it up like this. Wow, that's just pretty loud. I will probably wake up the neighbors now. Pretty cool. So this is now the bass go on to the chords and as well as to the lead. So these are just the, fain, the four main um, instruments you can just get here in the arbor. Okay, so now we get the chords.
coming to the lead. Okay, this is just really awesome. These are now basically the four instruments and then now we'll just connect it to the smartphone and you just see how the smartphone app will just look like at the moment. So this is just really early product stage, but still I like this approach. The plastic, the plastic could be just a little bit more premium and as well I would love to have some sort of um, squeezing mechanism here. I don't know why, but I would probably just use it quite a lot because I can hold it and just squeeze another beat. And this would be also just cool. So now using the smartphone. Okay, it's now connecting and it's now connected. Okay, perfectly fine. So now we've the drums and we can switch in the app to the bass as well as to the chords. and to the leads as well. So, okay, that's just a little bit weird. Okay, these are now the basics and you can also just implement um, some other um, presets if you want to. So these are just the presets already on the Orba, like the um, Orba and Chill, for example. I will just load it in here and we'll see how this lead will sound. Um, and now I got it, so we're on the lead. Okay, this is probably not my favorite sound, but um, you get the idea. So now you can just pair everything up here inside the app and just record also your, your songs if you want to just play them and record them. I haven't done this yet. I think for just doing your just playing around, just fiddling around for someone who really likes to have something in his hands and also just want to utilize the gyroscope as well as the accelerometer. This is just pretty cool because you're not now only belonging to your synthesizer and your keys and your keyboard um, because now you have just a completely new way to interact with your music and also creating music that I guess it's not only just a toy for me, probably it's just more like a toy and just playing around and not really going into this creative process of delivering a real song at the end. But I think for someone who really wants to get into new dimensions and just break the, the typical boundaries, I think this um, device could be just really cool. Even though if you're just taking with you traveling and just creating some new sounds you really want to have, in your pocket and just utilize it when you're just going back to your DAW and implementing this into your songs. So this would be just pretty cool. But um, also just let me know down in, your, in the comment section if you think this is just more like a toy and a gimmick or really some sort of instrument you can utilize and really be a real musician with. And as always, if you dislike this video, you know what to do. But if you liked it, hit like down there, get subscribed and enable the notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future video of the idea of technology. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.